Hi, today I'm going to put on makeup. So if you want to watch, you can watch. <laughs> if not, then probably don't. Today, I was inspired. I have been watching a lot of drag movies and TV shows, and I love drag queens. I've always wanted to be a drag queen, but I'm a woman. I have seen a lot of TikTokers recently who are women who do drag. So I feel a lot more confident now in doing this. This will really only be my second time kind of doing a drag-y look. So it's going to be mostly trial, mostly error. <laughs> the thing that inspired me today is this really, really cute Pocky box that my mom got for me. Look at the back. This is different from any other Pocky that I've tried. You open it up. That would have been so satisfying. That was a little more satisfying. How cute is that? And then here's your little regular pushed open thing. And you get oh, the treat. Today I am inspired by strawberry, yogurt, Pocky, and drag. So let's do it. <laughs> First, let's prime my face. It is already moisturized. Today I'm going to need something that really, really sticks. I want to do IT Cosmetics Oil-Free Primer. I don't know if you can actually see that, sorry. It's such a cute pink color. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids. So the first thing I want to do is conceal. I do have, remember, I'm not used to this. I want to draw new eyebrows. So the last and only time that I did kind of a drag look, I drew my eyebrows much closer to my eye. But you know what? I won't do that today because I want a lot of space. I want to make like a crazy eye look. I am still going to use this clear brow gel. I normally put this on after doing eyebrow powder, but Today's different. So I rarely give myself a chance to just play with makeup. Normally I'm getting ready to go somewhere. Doing a video is really cool because now I kind of have a reason to put on crazy makeup. Whereas if I wasn't doing this, I would just put on crazy makeup and not do anything because I'm not going to take pictures and post it online. But making videos to me is really fun. <laughs> yeah, I started opening up the uh, Pocky package. <laughs> Doing fun makeup plus doing fun editing. So I'm going to start with some concealer to cover up all my imperfections. I should have shaved my peach fuzz off. So I'm kind of just putting the concealer on and I'm not really going to blend it out. I want to let it set itself in place because I am going to be putting foundation on top of it. Okay, I had to check and make sure that I was recording because I felt anxious. <laughs> now I'm going to do like really white concealer to make some highlights on my face. So I want that here, and here, and here. It's Juvia's Place Concealer in shade 24. And I have my Damp Beauty Blender, so let's blend. brightness just right here in the center of my face. Concealing concealer has dried, so let's do the foundation.
normally I don't like putting any liquid things on my nose because I don't like how it moves and also how it's the closest thing to someone else's face when I'm talking to them. But since I'm not actually going anywhere today and I'm just having fun, I'll put it on my nose. Some of the spots of concealer didn't do like a perfect job at concealing. I'm gonna put on some chapstick. Mmm. I also totally forgot to tell you that the foundation I used is the Maquillage Woke Up Like This. So I'm going to make a little concoction real quick just to really, really cover up those other spots. So I'm going to go back in with my Merle Norman cover up. I put some on the back of my hand and I'm going to put an equal amount of e.l.f. mix to adjust, mix to match, adjuster, in white. I add that so that it can become more of a liquidy consistency, almost more like foundation, and it also does lighten the shade a little bit to match me more. So I'm mixing it up with a Q-tip and I'm plopping it on the spots that need extra help. I'd say that's about as flawless as... as... Okay, now... Now let's do some contour. So I'm going to use Merle Norman Cheek Crayon in the shade Bronze. I want to really define this spot here and I want to stop light from reflecting right here. So I want a lot right there. I want to like open up my eye socket area here. I want big lips more of a defined tip of the nose and I want my mouth to look a little bit wider I think this is good what do you think <laughs> please tell me now I'm ready to set my face I'm going to use the e.l.f. HD powder, but I'm using my Merle Norman powder puff. <clears throat> now I'm going to do a powdered blush. This is Merle Norman again. It's a little display color, uh, but it's called Make You Blush 2, and it's from the Lasting Cheek Color Duo. And I'm just, I'm going to use this uh, JS number 3 brush. So I'm going to use this to just accentuate all of the contouring that I did earlier. It looks weird and crazy right now, but just wait until we put blush on. I want it to be kind of like a pastel, like a pastel pink, not like a hot pink. So I think what I'm going to do instead is a pink, like, eyeshadow for blush. And there's not really, well, look at that. Can you see that? That color from James Charles. I think that's it, honey. So I want to do that, but first, I need to clean up this brush. This puppy is dry and ready for use. Definitely put some on the nose because Pocky is sweet and so is blush on the nose does that look sweet enough so i think i'm gonna um dip in with a little bit of taste buds from the thirsty palette give it a little bit more dimension also i think it would be really cool to have like it go in like the blush go all the way into the eye right here i quite like that some eyeshadow now. I really want to do a cut crease. I want to do a big, crazy cut crease. So I just want... So using the Thirsty palette, I'm going to use Taste Buds and Bitch. So for sweetness, you really want to have like an, a round eye and not really so angular. So I'm going to try and keep this nice and round. I'm using a little bit of uh, 
parched to blend it out. And that's this one here. All right, girls, let's cut this crease. Okay, so it's this really old angle brush that I have tape on to save it. I also have this brush, which also has tape on it. And I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place. So I'm going to keep my eyelids relaxed and look forward, and that's how I'm going to decide where to cut my crease. So that way, even when I'm relaxed and my eyebrows aren't raised, that you can see the eyeshadow. <laughs> So now I am lifting up my eyebrows so that I know that they are the same. I don't think that's half bad. I just want to uh, set this. And actually I'm going to use the e.l.f. powder. And I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush to wipe away any fallout. I wiped this brush off on the palm of my hand and I'm just going to go smooth out these lines using taste buds. So this eye ended up being a little more round than, the, than this eye, so I'm going to use the eyeshadow to round this up. I want to do the eyebrows now. I want to do the kind of hotter pink, the bitch color. That was not supposed to be that close. Guess I'm doing thick eyebrows then. Or I can fix it with concealer. Wow, I forgot there's like so many options when you're doing drag because like it doesn't really matter if it looks cakey. I want to do, uh, I'm gonna do the color kumquat because that kind of looks like the cookie. Every time I do my eyebrows, I always do a darker color on the tails. Kumquat's not really showing up, so I'm going to do stroke instead. <laughs> or, no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, it's still not really showing up, so I'm gonna do a little bit of drizzle. The pink is just overpowering everything. Okay, so let's thin this up with concealer. I just erased the tail. It doesn't look bad though. You know what? I like that. I like it and I'm gonna stick with it. I'm mixing taste buds with parched. So I want the inside of the cut crease to look like cookie. <laughs> I'm going to use cone from the Drawbreaker palette right here and tasty right next to it. So let's fill this in with cone. this really fine point brush here. I'm gonna dampen it a bit to pick up Tasty and <laughs> I should have done that more up there. Redo! That looks awful. It's terrible. You get the idea though, and hey, that's all that matters, right? I just had a way better idea. I have this brown liner that I'm gonna do instead. draw a thin, thin, thin line on the cut crease line again. 
This time I'm going to round it out. That line is not nearly as thin. It's okay. I promise. I'm going to use Snack from the Drawbreaker palette and just absolutely freaking coat this brush in it. And Okay, I think I want this like all on the inner corner too. Now I'm using some cotton candy up here. Hmm. Okay. So the box has this cute little spiral heart in it, and I think I know what I want to do with that. I'm trying my best here. This is kind of cool, right? So this is the spiral of hearts, and then this is gonna be two Pocky sticks. So I'm just gonna set these with elf powder. Made a little bit of a mess, but I think that's okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the same brush that I used earlier for the um, like metallic pink. I'm going to take this red color in licorice for the hearts. So I just like, I just don't have the proper tools for doing stuff like this. Because that looked really cool a second ago and now it looks like crud. Oh well. Oh well. I'll just have to show him what he's missing. Well y'all, I think that's as close as that's gonna get. I tried. <laughs> y'all saw it, right? Y'all saw me trying? Because I tried. Alright, let's do the pocky sticks. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this, Grandpa! That's too damn bad! Come on. What am I supposed to do there? <sighs> Come on. Who knew doing face designs was this difficult? I quit. 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 <sighs> drag sucks. I'm just kidding, I don't hate drag. I just apparently need to have eyeliner in every single possible color in existence in the world because then they're just like crayons for your face, right? Freaking bull crap, man. Bull crap. Bull. Crap. I'm gonna do some magnetic liner, not that anybody cares. I don't really worry about the shaping too much of the magnetic liner because I'll just put regular liner on top of it. Normally I try to keep my liner line really thin, uh, but since I've given up, I don't really care. <laughs> it's all in good fun. All this means is that drag queens really know what the hell they're doing, honey. If I had some eye glitter, I definitely would've popped some eye glitter on. Uh, but I don't. So, I can't. All right, let's do this eyeliner. <laughs> it's okay, the Merle Norman pencil can fix this. Right? Is it fixed? Feels fixed to me. No. <gasps> no. I broke the Merle Norman crayon. It's okay. Well, that's something. I want to put 
some bright pink under my eye. Because who cares if it's Pocky themed anymore? I've given up. That's kind of cool. I like like Harley Quinn's little sister that she hates. Why does one eye look lazy? I'm starting to look like a glossed cupcake. This turned out being much more like neon. Not the lipstick, the whole thing, than I was intending it to be. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Eh. I. Alright, let's call this done because I'm done. That was a mistake. Here I am, once again. I'm torn into pieces, can't deny it, can't pretend. I thought you were the one. This is it. I am not very happy, but I am happy that I did it.